This is the Manhattan Hotel that's been dubbed a modern-day Ellis Island, a temporary shelter for many of the 200,000 migrants that have come to New York over the past two years, including Emily and her children. It was really difficult being alone here with my kids. I ended up in hospital many times. But now I have my papers. Emily was a civil engineer in Venezuela, but violence and instability forced her to flee. Emily's husband has gone ahead to Ohio to look for work in the hope that his family will soon join him. Many other migrants are looking to head elsewhere due to the high cost of living here. Not Francis, she wants to stay in New York, but her papers have not come through yet. In the absence of a work permit, she sells empanadas on the street. If they catch me, they throw out my produce or they can fine me $1,000. Frances is also from Venezuela. She came here with her four children after her husband was murdered by kidnappers. We walk through the forest, through Panama, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua. Then we made it here. I try to put on a brave face. I don't like to cry. New York City Mayor Eric Adams has predicted that the migrants will cost the city $10 billion over a three-year period. This has stoked resentment from some. This postal office worker takes out his ire on an anti-Trump protester. They took money from me. What am I getting from it? Tell me what I'm getting from it. They're going to take our jobs too, right? Thank you. At an event for homeless and migrant families in Brooklyn, a local Democrat speaks up for the new arrivals. When you see the types of jobs that a lot of the migrants have to take, um, they're not the types of jobs that a lot of people would even want to take. And the economy is booming because these people are coming over here because they want to work. We're tired of the hate mongering and we're tired of the divisiveness. The Democrats are banking in part on positive messaging and debunking disinformation about migrants to help them secure more votes in this presidential election.